Hey guys, we are continuing our food and wine extravaganza today <laughs> for Carmen's birthday. This is part two, and we're also going to eat the flying fish tonight, which I'm super excited about, and hopefully come back to Epcot for more food and wine. We'll see what the night entails. All right, guys, it is my first food and wine festival drink, and this is like day four, but I've, I've had drinks just not from the festival. This is the Kung Fu Punch from China. Was it good for? It was. It was good as always, and I feel like for the price, this is one of the better values for the drinks. I don't know if you're familiar, but a lot of the festival drinks come in tiny, tiny, yeah. tiny cups. So I feel like this is a, a nice value. We found Remy in China, and he's got garlic. Here goes the garlic. We're getting there. There you go. All right. Brian went to Africa and got the lentil stew, and this is vegetarian. I'm not sure if it's vegan, but we know it's vegetarian. You wanna give that a try? It's pretty hearty. All right, that's really good. Really like it? Yeah, a little bit of spice. Of course, I would like a little more, more spice. You like the spice. That's really good. It's probably not a popular dish show because who wants to eat a hot stew? When it's hot, hot, hot yeah, yeah. That's and really it's, good it's much warmer out today. We were talking about that the humidity is kind of back today, but it's still nice. All right, this is a follow-up review. The heat starting to build and the spicy um, uh, lentil stew. It's really good. I'll get this again. Yeah, I just mentioned to Carmen, if I could find a recipe for this, I would make it. That's yeah, well, and we might be able to online. We can check. And we noticed they have a third item on the menu that's not listed in the passport. Right, it's not in the passport at all. It's a skewer it's shrimp. Piri piri, 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 skewered shrimp on couscous, which I'll get sometime. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Here's that piri piri skewered shrimp that Brian mentioned that is not in the passport. stopped at the Brewers Collection and Brian got the Beer Flight, which you actually like this better this year when you had it in September than previous years, right? Yeah, they changed it out. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a little better this year. It's got some different items. We're not going to review it since you already did it in September, but I will try to link to that right over there. The Ratter Burger is a wicked cool pills now. Good stuff. Yeah. We found Remy in Germany. He's got some kind of a pan. Brian is going to put the Germany. We found a pan. Man, right there. And there's Yay, the train. And there's the train. We found Remy in Italy. He's right over the wine area of Italy. Is it kind of oil with them? Um, vinegar. I would say that's vinegar, maybe. Brian's going to put the sticker on. Damn. Nice. So All we right. got vinegar. America Adventures next. All right. We found Remy in America. He's right here on the food and wine kiosk. Okay, Brian said it's carrots. I'm glad he has glasses on because I thought it was bread. It's definitely carrots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Japan is next. Woohoo! We found Remy. He's over here in the Japan Pavilion, kind of hidden. He's right next to the World Showcase Lagoon. And the kiosk is right there for food and wine. All right, we've got zucchini in Japan. There we go. The drummers are going right yeah. now. Here's Remy in Morocco, right on top of the Feud and Wine booth. All right, go for Morocco. It's a tomato. <laughs> tomato. There we go. Nice view. Yeah, look at this view. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy isn't looking great yet. I'm sure it will when they're finished. Remy is in France on the actual kiosk for the Food and Wine Festival, and he's got some parsley. So we got the parsley in France. UK is next. We already know. <laughs> Bye. Well, I get one more sticker left, but we need to find him. We're going to find him proper That's there, what we started this morning. And we could not find, find him. So we're going to check in the gift shop and look around again. But yeah. there he is over in France. Hey, Remy. Here's another view of the Guardians of the Galaxy building. I know it will look better when they're done, but right now it's like really, really stands out in the sort of world showcase line there. 
we are both suitably embarrassed because we had to ask for a hint. Um, the cast member just even started to look in this direction and Brian immediately saw it. I didn't, I was too short to see it, but he saw it. So it's right above the rose and crown. So there's that door right there. I mean, look at this. That was a, that was a clever one. All right, officially last sticker it is done. Done. So we did Yay. most of this, actually all of it except for uh, Canada. I think yep. it's Canada. Today, right? Today, yeah. yeah, in one day. So you could knock it out in a full day at Epcot Easily. if you want, if you yeah. wanted to. We had an amazing time so far at Epcot at the Food and Wine Festival. We are going to go back to the room and take a break. But we will be back, hopefully, uh, for more food and wine after we go to Flying Fish for my birthday dinner tonight. Flying Fish is not quite open yet, and so we popped into the Upper Cadaver. Here's our table. It's pretty cool. I think we're the first people seated, and we're right near the kitchen. I love the detail on the silverware. It looks like a fish. This is a view of the main dining room. It's beautiful. Here's the menu. They brought us these for our muscle shells because we got a muscle appetizer. I got some gluten-free bread, and Brian got some yummy gluten-filled bread, and we also got some butter to dip our bread in. Yum! We got gluten-free mussels. It looks so good. We both got the same thing. We both got the seafood risotto or risotto, depending on where you're from. Risotto. And it looks so yummy. It has shrimp, scallops, looks so I think calamari as well so we're gonna dig in and give this a try and that was on the gluten-free menu for those of you who are gluten-free Brian just noticed he has these little crisps <laughs> that are not on mine so that must be the difference today is my birthday and so they brought out to me a birthday dessert and it is gluten-free it's chocolate mousse it had a little lit candle which you had me blow out it's got a little cute hidden Mickey right there and this is so cute. It says happy birthday on it. Love it. We just ate at the Flying Fish for my birthday and it was amazing. It was awesome dinner. So good. We got the mussels for an appetizer. It's not on the gluten-free menu, but you can get it made gluten-free. And what else did we get? We both got the seafood risotto. Risotto. It had uh, scallops, calamari. Uh, what else was it? it was rock really shrimp. Rock shrimp. It was like so really good. Toasty. It was really rich. Very candy, rich. But it was so delicious. So good. And then they even brought me out a little surprise dessert for my yeah. birthday. So that was great. And our server was great. The food was great. Atmosphere was great. I loved everything. Oh, and, oh, and there like goes the a sign. Yeah. We had an awesome dinner at the Flying Fish. And now we're out at the boardwalk enjoying this amazing view. And it's pretty funny. She just now put the F in it right there at the Atlantic Dance Hall. It said that they had rats. Now it says rafts. But it was funny because she put the, the F in last, so it was pretty funny. It's going to be $3 drafts, not $3 rats. Oh, she hasn't got the D up. That's funny. Brian just noticed that all these prizes at the boardwalk for the games, none of them are Disney themed, which is kind of strange. Just love how the boardwalk looks in the evening. Beautiful. We're gonna check out the arcade here at the boardwalk. It's very small. <laughs> We got some classic games back here. That's fun. We're out at the main pool at the boardwalk, also known as the Crazy Clown Pool. We're gonna film that while there's not too many people here. It's a really nice pool. And so the reason it gets the nickname the Crazy Clown Pool is right over here. There's a big crazy clown. I'll get a better shot in a minute. It has a really cool roller coaster themed water slide and then there's the crazy clown which spits children out which is just kind of creepy yeah brian really likes that slide they have a really nice bar here called leaping horse libations and i've gotten drinks there before it's really good definitely recommend it thanks for joining us as always we appreciate subscribes likes shares and comments until our next adventure
Happy birthdays. <laughs>